Hello everyone, welcome to LRDI Prep. My name is Samir Sardana and in this video I will be discussing those type of input output questions where two elements move together, one on the left, one on the right, but the way they fill in at their place is the different from the one that we discussed in the previous video. The previous video where two elements were moving, one on the left, one on the right, in that, in that set uh, there was a filling from the inside. Now what happened? When the filling when the filling of the element is from the outside you will understand the complete concept once you read the set and when we start solving the question right uh, i explained in the previous video what is inside filling here in this video we'll be discussing outside filling concept when two elements will be moving together let's have a look at the set right all these questions have been covered in the previous video so please watch those videos to understand now this is a set i'll be discussing and here you see that in this particular set the question says when a word and a number arrangement machine is given an input line of words and numbers it arranges them following a particular rule the following is an illustration of input and output arrangement this is the input right so these are the rules that we are supposed to observe step by step firstly we will look at the last step and you will get to know what is the final result that this machine is looking for you see that step 5 will tell me that final arrangement that is to be done is to arrange the numbers in the decreasing order when you move from left to right and alphabets to be in the increasing order from left to right. And now let's check how the elements are moving step by step. In the step 1 to step 2, when you move from step 1 to step 2, you will see that the in step 1, you see the smallest number that is 15, right? This 15, right? The smallest number 15 has been taken on the left hand side of the, uh, on the, uh, on the leftmost position. And the smallest alphabet, which is the word which is starting the smallest alphabet is awareness. This has been taken on the right hand side. And in the second step, the second largest element, which is 38, is taken on the left hand side but it is placed on the left position of 15 right in the previous set the in the second step the element which was moving on the left hand side it was placed on the right hand side of the previous moved element but here in this case this number 38 has been placed on the left of 15 you see that this is that's called as a filling from the outside that means the new element is moved towards the outside part of the sentence or, or the complete arrangement, right? And also similarly, you can see that in second step, the second largest alphabet, a uh, second smallest alphabet that is rest is moving on the right hand side part. Then a third, third largest element that is 38 is 48 is placed on the left of 38. And the third smallest alphabet that s is placed on the previous moved element that is on the right hand side of s set right so this is called as a filling from the outside that means a new element is placed on the left of the previous moved element when it's moving on the left hand side and the element which is moving on the right hand side has been placed on the right of the previous moved element so that is filling from the outside right new elements are moving towards outside that's outside filling now outside filling Questions are more simpler than the one that we discuss in the inside filling, right? Because in the outside filling, there is no chance of automatic filling. There is, there is no auto filling of any element. So all you have to do is just give a new rank to every element that is given, right? Or straight away, you can answer the question. For example, here, how many elements were there? Total number of elements, uh, total number of sentences, total number of numbers were 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And because in the filling from the outside, there is no outside filling, there is no automatic filling. Straight away you can say that the number of, uh, the number of these elements, right, uh, either of word or the numbers will be same as a number of steps that will be required to do the complete arrangement. Or you see, the total number of elements in, in forms of word are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Just by just looking at it, I can straight away say there will be 5 arrangement, 5 steps that will be required to do the complete arrangement. So this is more simpler one. Even without ranking, you can answer it. But you, if, in some question, you might have to do the ranking. But finding the last step will be much, much easier compared to the one that we did in the inside filling. Let me give you an example of it. For example, here in this, 
if the question this is a new input that has been given to you 87 when show 1435 new beat in 5128 now if the question would have been what will be the number of steps required to complete the arrangement what will i answer i will simply count how many elements are there of a particular category if i talk about the numbers how many numbers are there 1 2 3 4 5 so my answer will be there will be five steps that will be required to do the arrangement okay but the question is not asking you to tell me the number of steps the question is asking you to find out the order of the step three now you tell me guys what will happen when three steps will be done right when three steps will be completed you see that three elements will be arranged one r sorry one, uh, uh, three elements will be arranged right one of the element will be 1L on the left hand side, 1R on the right hand side. In the second step, 2L will move here and 2R will move here. In the third step, 3L will move here and 3R will move here. Now, if I want to write down the step 3, all I have to do is just do the ranking of the elements and place it and you'll get your answer. Now, as for the given instruction, smallest element was moving first, smallest number was moving and the smallest alphabet was moving on the right hand side. Now let's do the ranking. Tell me which one is the smallest number, this one. So one L will be given to this, one R will be given to smallest alphabet, right? Two L will be given to second smallest element, that is two L. Two R will be given to the second smallest alphabet, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, right? So this will be two R. And then 3L will be given to 35 and 3R will be given to after I, the next alphabet that you will be getting would be I, J, K, L, M, N, right? That's it. This is your arrangement. Just fill in the element here. 14 will come here, right? 28 will come here. 35 will come here. And 1R, that is beat, will come here. 2R, I is coming here. 3R, new will come over here. That's it. This is the arrangement. The remaining element are not supposed to be arranged. So you will mention them as it is in the same order as they are present in the previous in the in the initial step. That is 87 here, when S and 51. This is the order of the third step. And you can straight away write down in one single line without writing the step one and then step two and then finally step three. Right? You don't have to write down all the steps, right? So step three would be this right this is the answer to the question now let's go to the next question question number two what will be the order of the step four of the following inputs so again very easy right if i want to write down fourth step order all i have to do is right i'll write down four r here four l here right three l here two l here one l and then i will write down one r two r three r and four r we have already done the ranking, but let's do it again, right, for the practice. So 1L is this, right, 1R is this, second will be second, second smallest, 2L and 2R, right, 3L will be given to 35 and 3R will be given to this, 4L, 4L will be given to the next uh, largest element, that is 4L. And 4R will be given to, uh, after I, you, after N you will be getting S as an alphabet. So 4R will be given to this element. So now just arrange it. 4L is 51, 3L is 50, 35, 2L is 28, 1L is 14. And what do we have in the place of 1R? It's beat B, 2R is I, 3R is new and 4R is S. And the remaining element are not supposed to be arranged. So just write it down, write it down in between as it is. It will be 87 and W. So this will be the order of the step four. That's it. This is the answer of the question, right? Now, now let's do one more question on the set. What will be the fifth letter from the right hand side in the fifth step of the following input? Now, fifth letter from the right hand side. In the fifth step, I know that the complete arrangement will be 5L, 4L, 3L, 2L, 1L, 1R, and then finally you will have 1R, 2R, 3R, 4R, and 5R. 
right? This is this is something I can observe from the instruction itself, right? The way the elements are being arranged, right? Now, what I am supposed to answer is a fifth letter from the right hand side. Now, this is my right hand side. This is the right hand side. Fifth letter from the right hand side. This is one one letter from the right hand side. First letter from the right hand side. This is second. This is third. This is fourth. And this is the fifth element from the right hand side. The fifth element from the right hand side will be the element whose rank is one R. Now tell me which element has been ranked as 1R. We know that 1R will be given to the word beat. So therefore the answer to the question is beat, right? Now you see that I don't have to write down five steps to answer this question. If you know the standard rules, all you have to do is just learn how to do the ranking and that will straight away help you in finding the answer of the questions, right? So 1R is this. So 1R will be the fifth element from the right hand side and that is the answer to the question, right? So these were the questions of input output. In the next video, we'll be doing those questions where two elements are moving on the one side, right? Here, one element was moving on the left, one element was moving on the right. In the next part of the video, we'll discuss those set of input output where two elements are moving together. And after that, finally, the last part of input output would be those type of questions where there are some mathematical operations. Now in the mathematical operation, uh, there is no such trick of ranking. All you have to do is the follow, or uh, you have to follow the series method. You have to see what, what are the different mathematical operation that has been applied and accordingly you have to solve it. But that is also one type that you need to cover if you want to comprehensively cover the input output questions. So three types has been covered. Fourth type will be covered in the next part of the video. Thank you so much for watching the video. That's all right. So remember all the concepts. In the first video, we did the questions where all the elements were moving on one side, either on left or on right. Second, we did the those input output set where one element was moving on the left and one element was moving on the right. But there the, the filling of the new element was from the inside, right? So elements, new element was placed inside of the previous moved element. Okay. But this is a set where the new element has been placed on the outside part of the previous moved element. So that's a filling from outside. I hope you got the complete concept and outside filling will not require any auto filling. So there is no automatic ranks that will be the, the, the there will always be a new rank that will be given to the new element and that help you in finding the answer to the questions quickly, right? Because the auto filling process is not involved when it comes to the out, out, outside filling. That's it for the day. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please share the video with all of, all of your friends. I'll be uploading more videos for your MBA entrance exams and other MBA entrance exams. In the upcoming videos, I'll be covering the chapters like coding, decoding, blood relation, abstract reasoning, cubes cutting, every type of uh, everything that is related to logical reasoning and reasoning ability will be uploaded on this channel as well as on as well as of data interpretation also. So please subscribe it. Please share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.